What's going on guys, Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. And you're wondering what this one particularly is. We're gonna get to that in just a second, but this is by the company Nipo. And it is the O Cuddle Massager. You're like, Chris, what is that? We're gonna get to all that specifications in just a second here. But what is so awesome about these, after a tough day at the gym, office, wherever it is, you get that massager on your shoulders, you get it on your lower lumbar, it's amazing. I've reviewed massagers before by this company, and this is their newest model. And the model number that it goes by also is the O Cuddle C1. Just like all my unboxing and review videos in the description box below is going to be this same link for this massager. So after the video is over, you can read more about it, pick one up yourself. You guys in the UK, I will try to have you linked if they sell one in the UK, if not one very similar to it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and head on over here. Let's get it out of the box, show you what you got. We'll of course take it for a test run and let you know all about it. Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. We have a lot of fun here. Smash that subscribe button down below and turn on your bell notifications so when fresh content comes out, you're the first to know. Now this is a shoulder massager, just like it says right here on the box. But what I actually do is after I'm done with my shoulders, I then put it down to my lower back while I'm on the couch watching TV, and it's absolutely amazing. I'll of course get you full specs on that and let you know how I do with that, how it fills, etc. Before we do get it out of the box, we do have two heat levels. It is adjustable and it has an ergonomic design. All right, let's go ahead and get it out of the box. Remove that card there. What's in the box? Wall adapter and a car adapter too. That's great. Let's go ahead and get that out. And it's just a one-stop shop. Everything is in the bag. So let's get rid of this box here with a nice holder case right here with two handles. Looking fantastic there. So let's go ahead and open this guy on up. So let's get the massager out first and we'll get to that in just a second there. But first I wanna look inside of the pouch at all the accessories. Here is our plug here. And this of course is the US model one. If they sell it in the UK, Europe, you guys will have your plug as well there. We're looking at a 12 volt output, 2.5 amp plug. And you probably are wondering the length of this, putting it behind your couch or at your office, etc., being able to work your shoulders out during work hours. I'm 5'9", and that is tip to tip, just a hair longer than my wingspan, so that's gonna be approximately tip to tip, guesstimation six feet plug tip to tip there. Same color as the massager. Inside the pouch is a very nice pouch, actually. And then we have a small zippered area on the wall of it where we have our user manual and a little brochure with a coupon code on the other side of there. Here are a couple of the areas that they're talking about. Like I mentioned, the lower back waist area there. You can do neck, shoulders, back, mid back. You can do your thigh or, or your calf, like pictured there. There are three different functions of speed, low, medium, and high. It goes for 20 minutes and then automatically shuts off. So that's great if you do fall asleep or if you're using it before bed and a high and low level of heat. Also in this side is gonna be your car cigarette adapter for plug-in so you can use it while you're driving. Just be careful obviously while you're using that while you're driving. And that's it for the case there. Now it does have a removable fabric cover that unzips. The zipper is down beneath here and you unzip it all the way around and that whole entire cover can be removed for cleaning. The fabric is actually very soft and nice not to mention the outer portion there that is either real leather or manufactured leather. I'm not exactly sure. So we're going to start from this side here with the logo going down the, if you're looking at it, the left hand side, which is going to have our buttons here for our different speeds for the heat here for the auto rotation. If you want it going clockwise or counterclockwise and then our on and off button here with our power input there for the wall adapter or cigarette adapter, and then adjustable straps on each side so you can put your arms through applying pressure as need be. Same thing over here on the right side of it, but obviously no buttons or power plug, but your strap is over here as well. 
So let me show you what most people do is if they're watching TV or driving in the car home, you would have it over your back, over your neck here, and then you can obviously adjust it a little bit lower right here. But putting your arms through, you're able to put a little bit more pressure on the arms to go ahead and press it into your back. Or what I typically do if I'm watching television, I take it out of the handholds there. And what I do is I just then put it up against my lower back, putting pressure on office chair or your couch, put a pillow behind if you need a little bit more pressure so you're not seeping back into the back of the couch. And then while I'm watching TV, I literally just press my back into it I can raise it up so for this example this obviously the back of this chair isn't as high so I don't have any pressure to put it too high up but going right here I would sit and lean back into it and I don't need to if you really want to get it in you can hold your handles up like this and drive them into your back a little bit more if you need a lot of pressure. But it helps my posture too, because my posture is terrible and I could just watch Netflix while I'm just getting a massage. This is particularly fantastic, especially after I get home from the gym, after kickboxing classes where they beat us up really good and it's able to massage me. Well guys, the massager is doing a fantastic job. Let me show you my setup and how I use it. So majority of the time I only use it during TV watching. And so what I do is I see the logo right here. I flip it around and that's the way I use it on my lower lumbar, riding it up my back, even on your shoulders, etc. And so what you can do here is you can push it up against the cushion of the couch or if you need like a little pillow, you have a little bit more cushion with the other pillow there. I sit down, I put that, and with my body weight, I just press it up against my lower lumbar, and then I can alter it a little bit, I can raise it a little bit higher, I can take away the pillow, and I can put it right here, lean my back up into it, and my weight will keep it there. My plug comes over the back of the couch, which it is plugged in down below next to my projector here. And it gives me a great massage, especially what I do. I use this after boxing, kickboxing class. I sit down and I use it right in front of the TV here. It feels great and does a great job. Let me go ahead and turn it on for you guys here. And so this would be the default on setting here with the heat already on. And then as you can see there, it diminished a little bit. That is for the lower setting. And then that would be for the heat off. So that would be for the heat full, the heat lower, and the heat off. Now the heat is definitely not over intense. The heat is definitely not very hot, but it's nice and soothing. I like it a lot, especially as I just talked about after the gym. There again are three different controls. Speeds up a little bit, comes down slower. Here's the second one. Here is the fastest setting there, as you can see and then back to the original. Now something to keep in mind here, and then you can obviously reverse it where it will reverse if you like the other direction counterclockwise or you hit it again and it goes clockwise there. Now something to keep in mind as I was testing this, it's probably cut off, which is good so you don't damage your unit, but I noticed that after about maybe over 30 minutes, maybe 35 minutes or so on the high highest intensity, the machine will actually stay lit, meaning the heat, the massager might be overheating and so that is a cut off so that you don't damage your machine. I tested it again without the heat and I was able to run it for a full couple cycles there and I stopped after two cycles so there wasn't any issue with that with the heat off entirely but again when the heat was on I was about 30 minutes into it and then it stopped so that is something to keep in mind as well. That's just a little prevention. And then after it sat overnight, I used it the next night and everything worked perfectly again. But just letting you know that if you are planning to purchase this and use it for a full hour with the heat on, my massager is cut off, but not the heat after about ballpark 35 minutes or so. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Again, look in the description box below for the links for this massager. You guys in the UK, look for your link below as well. Read more about it. Pick one up yourself. Hit that thumbs up button if it has helped you make an informed decision and subscribe to the channel. I got a lot more goodies on this channel. Take care. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos continue to watch we'll see you soon